Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? What the heck? At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. I'll use the chronogon. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Where am I going to put it?
Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Awesome. Indeed. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said, come down from there at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. Voila. You're quite a man. Yes, I know. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once.
and I thought glow-in-the-dark fake doo-doo was such a good idea. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. The British are coming. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. 
No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire? No way, it could be on fire by now. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. That's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. I've lost it. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino.
I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. I needed a little pick-me-up. <coughs> now that's good coffee. Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. What sonambulistic disquiet he suffers. I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you, upstairs. The tape's at the end. Dr. Fred 
Edison Internal Revenue Come with us. Let's see, it's 101 99957. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. This is no good, it isn't signed. 